when you see the trucker that's holding up the fuel island on purpose go in the store. morning good morning what's good everybody welcome back to the lockout man podcast show thank you thank you thank you i am still here at the loves but i'm still getting these good videos out to you guys and getting the work in for uh my community thank you for watching and listening to the lockout man podcast show yo why don't you do the give me the hbo special you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what that is? Help a brother out by hitting that thank you button in the video, man. Let's jump right into it. Look, this is serious. This is serious business right here. You know, I've seen this video. Uh, shout out to Trucker Mafia, I believe that's his name, on TikTok. Yo, I, I got to give it to him. He's the one that's been hooking me up with the good-ass videos on TikTok. So shout out to you, my G. But listen, man, this video right here, this this ain't nothing to laugh at. This ain't, this ain't nothing to laugh at. This ain't funny. This ain't funny. Even though the creator in the comment section said, yo, this is all about jokes. I'm joking. I'm just playing, yada, yada, yada. People, people don't play like that, man. People don't play like that. People see these videos on TikTok and some of them do take them as value. You know, they see you doing this shit and they going to take it upon themselves to think, hey, well, when a truck driver goes into, to, into the store or whatever and he's taking too long and he's holding me up, well, I'm just going to get out of my truck and I'm going to hold him up too by pulling the fifth wheel. People actually do that shit, bruh. This ain't funny. This ain't funny at all. And it shouldn't even be taken light. You know, people that actually see this, some people gonna actually see this. They're gonna, they gonna see this and they're gonna and they're gonna take it for what it's worth. And they're gonna turn around and make it and make this into an issue. They're gonna take this video right here. And they're going to actually, they're going to probably be like, yo, I don't care if he's playing or not. This is an issue. Where do we work at? This ain't funny. And for the people in the comment section that says it is, y'all, y'all some idiots. Because this ain't funny. This is serious business right here. You don't mess with another trucker's truck, period, period. No matter if he's holding up the fuel island, the cat scale, or whatever the case, you just don't mess with nobody else's property, man. And it's, if it's that bad, just get out of the truck, go inside of the store and make an announcement so that they can come out and, and get their truck. Now, I understand driver's etiquette is not being, it's, it's, it's not being done in these situations. I get it. Some of these drivers are new and they don't even know the etiquette yet. You know, just like when I did the video on the cat scale, maybe that driver was new and he didn't know the etiquette. You don't know why he went into the store. Maybe he had to go into the store because the boss was out. Maybe he had to go into the store for, for extenuating circumstances. You don't know why he was on the cat scale. You don't know why he's in the fuel island until that truck driver comes out and do some strange shit that makes you think that he was. Do crazy ass shit in the fuel island. But for you to make a joke, to make a video, to make fun of you going over there pulling somebody else's fifth wheel and think that shit's funny, it's not cool, bro. It happens all the time. And people do it for real. You know, people in the comments like, well, maybe that's his truck and he's doing it for a TikTok video. Bruh, you, you doing this shit for lights? That, that's what you doing this shit for? I mean, let me see. You, you got like 3,000 lights? People like, people like you pulling another person's fifth wheel? For real, bruh? This ain't cool. 
this ain't cool. People in the comment section going like, yo, why don't you just, why don't you just like the video and just keep scrolling? Look, man, TikTok is going to get somebody fucked up. Somebody going to actually see this video. They're going to make a video of themselves doing stupid shit like that. And then somebody going to get messed up. This is the biggest no-no in trucking, bruh. Pulling somebody else's fifth wheel. He got another video that I've seen, too, uh, you know, sleeping next to a reefer. Uh, it shows him going over there turning off the reefer. You don't do that either, bruh. When a reefer trailer pulls beside you and runs all night. <laughs> just jokes. Gotcha, man! Story time. That actually happened to me. I was, I'm not sure where I was at, but I was working for JNR Schwugel. Went to double check my reefer. It was already set at a temperature where it was supposed to be set at. So me thinking that it's still set at the temperature that it's supposed to be set at, I get to uh, Boar's Head in Ohio. And as soon as I pull up there, the temperature is at a different temperature. Mess, it, it didn't mess up the product to, you know, it didn't mess it up all the way because I wasn't that far from, from Boar's Head to where I was at, but it still got me in trouble. So now I double check everything all the time. Pull up in the fuel island, go into the store, check. Come back out, check before i get in the truck check before i finish fueling check this is a matter of checking your rig every time every time so stuff like this won't be missed so stuff like this you won't be pulled out and 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 get disconnected from the uh from the um from the trailer Posey pull it Right, and you still able to pull off, but then get into get on the road, go down the way, get on the highway. You can cause you can cause life. You can cause a major catastrophe because you felt some kind of way in the fuel island, bruh. You don't do that. You don't do that, man. Guys, let me know in the comment sessions what you think. You, you, you think this is funny? Do you think this is funny? Let me know in the comments below if you think that this is funny. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Shout out to Trucker Mafia for sending me the video. Thank you, bro. If you got any videos or, or, or questions or anything like that that you want to get at me on, hit me up, 216-600-2090. And if you're on TikTok or Instagram, you can just DM me the links, and I'll go ahead and check it out, and I'll get it out there to you. Until next time, everybody, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.